Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Rogue Tech uh, Treadnought Edition where today uh, we're going to put a few more accessories on our mechs and then get into another fight. Literally what we need to do. Um, but first off we actually do need to upgrade the Argo. I'm going to go for the Habitat Pods because that gives us access to a few right, more the team on it right away. upgrades including the training modules which will be really handy for later on. Well for all the time for when we get new pilots and stuff like that and then the next thing let's check the mech, mech bay so the vindicator what you're just running a standard fire control system okay what have we got what did we get we got a cock cockpit hot seat i can say it's honest uh, clan sensors no you know what? I think the Shadowhawk does need a bit of a refit to be a bit of a more of a melee mech. Because it can be a melee mech. Um, and with the cockpit hot cockpit hot seat, I, wrapped up that job you asked I for, think that's going to be a good mech. Because so it has the battle fists. And with that, we get plus one accuracy. Uh, punch melee accuracy. And, okay, so, 10% multiplier for punch attack damage. Okay, so the Vibro Sword doesn't really help all that much. Um, where does this go? What does it replace? It replaces the Range Finder. Okay. Because mm, it is kind of needed at the moment, the Range Finder. Until we get, maybe we leave it. Yeah, no, yeah, we leave it as it is. So be it. I don't think we need anything else at the moment. Um, what are you running? Rangefinder, sensor recon. You've got stuff. Um, I mean, we could put some stuff in your heads. Let's see. Let's take a quick look. So it's plus five sensor and sight. Uh, that would be handy. And then the other bit is, oh yeah, the couple bit hot seats. That does not really help us right now. Um, you know what? No, it's just no. We're gonna go into the next fight. So let's just get on with it. So let's get in and get through fatigue first. Ooh, Argo training module, melee in the mech bay, and they both get a hundred XP. Awesome. So that is perfect, and look at that, beta training pod is almost ready to go. It will be Green after the next mission, Morning. and I'm thinking we go for a destroy base, two, scum, two skull mission against the St. Ives. I think that's going to be an amazing amount of loot, potentially, and a mummy best injured. How long is she injured for? Take a look. 13 more days. Okay, maybe we don't drop with Mummy Bear. Well, there goes my Flamer Mech for the moment. Um, you're going to go there. And that means who's got you? Who is Popo? Popo is there, and then we got. Um, technically, we can. Put you there, and then Lance two. Do we have? And wait, uh, no wait. That was a terrible one, isn't it? Yeah, Scorpion. No, we don't have enough um, pilots. So be it. I mean, I could put the general in with say announcer. Yeah, sorry. Let's do that. So. Pegasus coming out, Jenna's going in with Announcer, and then we're putting the Pegasus back in, like so. And we're good. We're dropping with 280 tons. I need one and a half skull rating this time because we don't have the Cascatel, which was giving us the extra tonnage. So, so be it. Let's deploy and let's get on with this. 
Command interface initiated. Okay, so here we go into um, the city. I was going to say into the unknown, but it's fairly well known. It's a city, it's got big booms, and that's the base we need to destroy. Can we? No. Can we go here? No. What about. No. Okay, so back here in the water. No. Wow, there's. Okay, we're going to go about over here. No. Where does that lead? That leads that way. Yeah, let's drop. I don't suppose it makes too much difference where we go. Let's go here. I think we might actually be further, a little bit further away. <laughs> but we get an explosion again. Uh, one support lance, garrison, and there will be turrets as well. And we already have a stiletto. An allied Saladin, I believe that was. And something else. Wow. What the hell? Oh. Um, and then the scimitar. LRM scimitar. That's not looking good for our ally. Oh, there's another Maxim thing there that's allied. That's enemy. That is a Hawk Moth. Well... Um, let's reserve for a moment. Holding for the right opportunity. We already have lost an ally. Oh no, wait. That's an ally. That scimitar is an enemy. Then we have a hell spawn over that side. Hawkmoth, harasser, and then the buildings. Okay, well, there we go. We have approximately some stuff. Ah, there's the rest of the allies. Ranger and a harasser. There probably is one more thing somewhere around. But they're tanks. I don't think they're going to be of much use. I mean, he put some flames down, so that's handy. At the moment, I don't think I need to move anyway, but I might as well. Wait till the targets right in front of me have lost their spawn protection so that we have a potential hit chance. And oh, you're going. The hell spawn is getting closer. And doing nothing. So, what is a hell spawn? Dunno, but it actually looks pretty cool. Let's reserve. Waiting for the Here comes the hurra- no, that doesn't really get any closer. Fine. And turn 13. So the allied turn, which is the ranger. There is one more thing to- Holy cow, he missed like crazy and destroyed at least one building. But he has a few mag shots. Which are insane. And yeah, they're going to come in handy. So this is a turn 13 something. And then we got the turrets. Probably. There probably is turrets, but I don't know. I can't see them, so. They all hit. Do I even have spawn protection? I don't have spawn protection, do I? I'm your spaniel. Um, the blackjack can't move. Oh, no. Yeah, I think we got a dead drop. Unless we destroy the buildings. Uh, that sucks. That kind of sucks. Well, let's reserve for a moment. Okay, I'll be and right here. our last ally. So where is our last ally? Have I seen them? Oh yeah, it's the Maxim hover tank up here. 
Yeah. So they could come in handy. I mean, they're almost taking out the horde moth. So yeah, they're they're really handy. Receiving you. Okay, adrenaline. Let's push in. Roger. And do we go for sensor mines? Yeah, why not? Why not? It means that we can actually see these guys a little bit better. But yeah, I don't think I had spawn protection, so good to go. That sucks. And you're on top of a. <laughs> you're on top of a building. So what you're gonna do is attack the building you're sat on, see what happens. That's gonna be fun. Got it. We're gonna get some full damage. Target destroyed. Actually, no, we didn't take any damage from falling. Order. That's interesting. And that's pretty cool as well. Okay, you're out of range with your weapons. Fine, let's just push there and get a bit of cover. Done. Yeah. Piranha. I'm thinking we sprint for now. There's no reason not to, if I'm honest. Simply because we need to get close. I must have a reasonable hit chance. And the streets didn't fire. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that's Thunderbolts, maybe? Standing by. Aha, you can move now, the building's destroyed. Good, we've got our mortars back. Good, good, good. And I don't think I'm dropping oh, mines right. right here. I think that's a little bit too close. Do we drop anything? Let's go with some guy dead, because he's a little bit open on the side. Rah. We got a little bit of we got a little bit of spread damage. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Duncan Fisher here. Okay, so let's get a bit more damage on him. Heavy MRM10. Let's see if this works. Hmm, it could do. Lighting them up. Yeah, a lot of that hit, and he's panicked, so that is really handy. That's a standing by. It's going to make hitting him a little bit easier. Wow, that's eight. Holy crap, you've got eight evasion. Well, let's drop back a little bit. No, I'm thinking we go all in because that's a 61% chance with the heavy MRMs. If the PPC hits, brilliant. you also got a graphical glitch and your bright pink right now. And what else can we see back there? Buildings. And not much else. Fine. Let's go. Oh, we've gone down slightly. That sucks. But we've still got the best hit chance on this guy. The PPC did hit. Well, the, yeah, it shouldn't be firing it, actually, because... Because we'll be taking out the, the mines. Well, the center mines seem to have stayed. Okay, the stiletto's going. In a second. When he thinks. Oh, he's going for melee. And connecting. On the AP Gauss. Oh, sorry, the Mag Shot Ranger tank. Okay. Yeah. Whose turn is it now? Turn 19. I have no idea. It's probably the Vito, yeah. The Hawk Moth. I'm not doing anything. Good. And then turn 17. The Hellspawn is jumping. 
and killing. Holy cow, these guys are taking no prisoners. Yep. Um, right, well, I think you just move. Get a pretty good hit chance, and we see if we can hit this tank. At least we can take something out, hopefully. Because our allies are not doing so well. Well, the AC missed by a mile. And then I think only one set of SRMs fired. Ready for orders. Wow, uh, that's bad. Double jam. Well, let's see how far back we have to go to get a decent hit chance with the PPC. So look, 29. And... Okay, what we're going to do is reserve you so he goes through the center mines. Reserving action. I think that might help slightly. That, I don't think that hopper tank is going to survive. Standing by. Uh, I'm going to do the same with you. He's initiative 12. So he goes in this turn. Along with the hover tank that's so probably going to die because there's so many flames around him. We shall see. Uh, there we go. He's missing the hawk moth. That sucks. But at least he's done quite a bit of damage for us to follow up in a minute or so. And Ooh, a Yenglong Wang, which is a centurion. Okay. Let's do this. That's um, an interesting thing. You know what? We might as well reserve you as well to see what this Waiting guy does. Because right if we can take him out, that'll be amazing. And let's see where he goes. Because he's got to think about. Actually, doesn't have to think about going too far. <laughs> Panic level critical, pa pilot ejected. Awesome. So, in all fairness, we don't now have to shoot him. That is even better. We can push this way and... Well... You... Confirm. Might actually have a better hit chance when we get closer. Because he's unsteady. The stiletto... If we can hit him, I think we he loses the evasion. We hit him a couple of times, so he should be. He should have lost evasion now. I mean, it's a seventy percent chance with the mortars, but we do we'd be doing more damage to our allies. So I'm thinking. Got it, Commander. Let's go there anyway. And we can... We can't hit the Hawk Moth, sadly. I mean, I can look at doing some damage to the turrets. Why not? Let's see if we can do a little bit of damage to the LRM turrets right now. It's not too bad. And is it, it is my go still. Good. Receiving you. Alright, back strike again. 14% chance. 14. Wow. Just no hit chance. What if I go all the way over here? That's a 29. That's 4 evasion. That's still only 29. Well, you know what? Let's go for 29. 4 evasion, 29% hit chance. It's a 27 now. Got it. Well, we hit the. We hit something, so that's not so bad. 
More Infernos, that's not good. And I think that Maxim's probably going to punch out before long. Commander. And... If we go there... All right, I don't really think we're going to be hitting much, but... Let's see, let's take a look. 7.3, even less. Now we might as well wait and um, save the ammo. We're more likely to hit our allies and take him out. And since he has a go now, at least his um, mag shots might. Oh yeah. Hit the back. Advanced AMS crit structure exposed. He's almost knocked down as well. Ready for order. And then adrenaline gets to. I think we're sprinting because we need to get in close. No shooting, just running. Got it. And I'm thinking we drop. Did it... yeah, our other tank's dead round here. So, do we drop standard ammo on the stiletto? No, I don't think that's wise. I think I could potentially take out the Hawk Moth. I mean, it needs one missile. But we've only got a 3% a three chance of hitting. So, I think Thunder A on the Centurion will look good. Because we don't need to go down there, I don't think. Duncan Fisher here. Aha. Follow up. Five evasion. A reasonable decent way. hit chance. In fact, a very good hit chance, all things considered, and how bad it was last time we tried to hit this guy. And so yeah, put the machine guns up. Lighting them all up. Boom. Nice. There you go, folks. That's the way the McWarrior crumbled. Maxim's taking a bit of damage and a lot of damage. Okay. And Popo. So Hellspawn. I don't really see what you've got. But I'm thinking... Yeah, we might as well go behind him. Start pissing him off. That was a better hit chance before. Affirmative. Oh, well, at least we hit him. So turn 17 is not the health spawn, it'll be the Hawk Moth. None hit, sadly. Not one. But. Fine. Yeah. If this guy moves closer again, hopefully we're going to be able to take this guy out. This Hawk Moth. And maybe, if we're a bit lucky, we can take the Hawk Moth as salvage. Because I would love a Vito, who seems to have his own mech shots. Now you've got a light Gauss rifle. Interesting. Okay. Damage. The damage is real. Duncan Fisher here. But you're also going to get hit back. Yeah. Heading that way. With flamers. And you're already um, looking rather hot. So this isn't going to go well for you. Well, it's a good job the missiles weren't the main source of heat. He, I mean, he's over his heat threshold, but he's probably still going to fire. Oh, he always will fire. That's the stupid thing. He will always fire. And he will shut down because of it. And maybe even explode. We shall wait and see. And, okay, the hit chance on the Hawk Moth. Thirty-three percent chance. Sod it. Yes, go for it. Boom! Vehicle destroyed. 
Apparently that's not even the garrison or the or anything else. The support lance. Okay, so what do you need? We've still got things to find. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going there. We might as well finish off this guy and keep the flank as clear as possible. And let's fire. Okay, some hits. The AC5 hit and the. Hey, wait your command. And one of the streaks at least got target lock. Uh, yeah, sprint to there. Let's move. We are right next to two explosive generators, which is not ideal, but so be it. Can I put the mines down around this guy? I can. Let's do it. Engage. Nice. I'm out of SRM. He's also panicked. Nice. Okay, you're not really getting into the fight just yet. That is fine. And here we've got four turrets to take down, and we haven't touched one of them just yet. Nice. Because I panicked him, my ally had plus two to hit him. So that is a very, very Ready good forward. combo. And yeah, we're just going to... I've only got one heavy MRM. No, we're going to push it this way. And 8 evasion. Sod it. That's good. I mean, the light PPC is 19% chance to hit, so be it. But the major damage we get is from the MRMs. So let's fire them and see what damage we can do. Roger. Not the best, if I'm honest. Standing by. And then hacker. Uh, push over there. Again, we're right next to the explosive things. So this Moving is not back. brilliant, but so be it. And I'm thinking you can start doing damage to turrets. Even if it's only like 10 damage you do, so be it. Yeah, that that tank's holding up, but it's not gonna survive, I don't think. Oh, no, he's gone. Yep. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Oh dear. Um, aye aye. Popo. I mean, I could probably hit him with a charge right here. And. Put his initiative down. I'm thinking we do that. Or do we go for a kick? Kick wouldn't exactly do a tremendous amount of damage. We have a better hit chance with it. Yes, yeah, so let's kick. Let's kick him in the nuts. Nope, we missed. No joy. We're unsteady and he's not, sadly. But we did expose some structure. Good. Who is next? Duncan Fisher here. You're next. Right, so... Can we... We can get a backstrike. Good. Backstrike Heading and that flames. Way. And let's see if we can take him out. Yep, we should be able to. Ooh, we got a little bit of heat on the spider. Duncan. But he's unsettled. Okay, so orders. Where do you want to go? I'm thinking. Now, the mortars are more useful this way. Acknowledged. And who do we hit? Centurion is not 
really a threat. I'm thinking we start taking some of the turrets out. Dealing some damage at least. AT2 ammo gone. Yep. Although that's going to be pretty hard now because, as you just heard, we're out of ammo. Moving to position. Right, hopefully no stray shots into any of my guys down here. I mean, he's stressed and the AMS hit none of the missiles. Okay, left leg destroyed. Yeah, no evasion was a bad idea there. Also, he has a radical heat sink in Gets. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, well, we didn't actually take an injury from that, so that is one good thing. Heading out. Let's see if we can take him out. Actually, we're not going to because he spun around. This is his strong side still. Well, maybe we can do some damage at least. Oh, come on, come on. He's panicked, but not enough of those hits, sadly. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's go there. It doesn't make too much difference, actually. Turn you on and fire. Putting one in the back. Target taking a critical hit. Systems holding. Uh, yeah, I hit my own guy there. That sucks. And hacker. Yes, boss. I'm going to push over this way, just to get the evasion, but I'm going to go for... Actually, do we go for the turrets, or do I just drop some... No, 7.3% hit chance. I think hitting a turret is more useful here. Taking the shot. Not much damage, but so be it. Houston's holding. Oh, this is bad. Oh, wow. And triple engine crits. Critical hit. Critical hit. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, what initiative are you? You're initiative seven. Duncan Fisher here. That's tremendously bad. Let's kick. Heat him up. He's got a radical heat sink in kit. And Bring I believe in the it went crit. So... One more crit, and it goes boom. Or we just take out the entire engine. That works for me. Oh well, that's the way the mech warrior crumble. What do you need? Right, let's get everyone over this way and start taking out some buildings. Confirmed. The Centurion's not a target just yet, but I'm thinking. They, well, you're the only small building, and only the AC-5 can hit you. If I go for this one, still only the AC-5 can hit, but I think everyone else will be able to target it better. Fun. Is there only two... There, seems, there might only be two turrets. Fine. Confirmed. We missed. Targeting systems janky. Wow. Yes, Commander. We actually missed that. That's um that's a good one. Double time. Let's go. And I mean we can hit this guy with infernos. So be it. Locked on target. Structure exposed, so we did something to him. By. I mean, we do have some more mines for the Centurion. Let's see if we can drop them. On it. Let's 
Incendiary Thunder. Let's go Got for it. it. Receiving you. And McGrath with all the evasion in the world. It's only going to hit with the PPC. But so be it. It's a 55% hit chance, so it might not even be a hit chance or a hit. Because that's out of range. Firing. I mean, we hit. No, 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 we didn't hit. That's bad, but so be it. Okay, Centurion doesn't know what to do. He's going backwards. He's the only walking target. No, no, sorry, there is the Joust over here. And there is a light cali calliope turret. There is dual mortar. Okay, there is four turrets then. Receiving you. Right. That is good to know. Affirmative. And um, right, can we hit something? I'm thinking this guy. Fire. We got one turret down. That turret is gone. So that's good. Receiving you. You can stand up. Regain footing. And good to go. Let's go with Vigilance for next turn. Yeah, we can't run because we've only got one leg. So... This is going to get painful. Heading out. Okay, right. As long as all the enemies go for this group here... Systems holding. The spider's going to be fine. But again, the spider is out of the fight. Once again. Yeah. And sprint. I kind of want to take out the, the, the mortar turrets. All right, full speed. If I can take out the mortar turrets, I think we're gonna be saving ourselves a lot of damage. Technology. Oh, we hit that. <laughs> that was a miss. And a big f fat. Duncan Fisher here. Dinking miss. You're out of the fire at the moment, but you'll get back in. You're Heading fast enough. Way. And it gets you a turn to cool down, so even better. Come on, Ranger. Get in there and kick some serious ass with your. Ready for orders. Big scary stuff. I don't think two evasion is going to help us. I think three evasion is good. Let's not try and draw a line of sight to the Centurion Yang Lo Wang thing. Because I don't want him shooting me, basically. I will drop some in Inferno Mortars over on this guy. Because he'll take some damage from that. Ammo yeah, we're running low on mortar ammo, but that's fine. Okay, he's getting a line of sight. But his legs are open. So that's good. Ready for orders. I don't think I need to drop any more mines down there, so let's see if we can get into range with our lasers and hit something. No, but we can drop some standard missiles on the tu on the mortar turrets. Standing by. Um, five evasion. Electrical field plus four difficulty to hit units within the electrical fields, and plus four to make them as well. If I go there, I can get a line of sight. And it's 42, 48, respectively, for our weapon systems. So, that improved slightly, which is good. That's a bunch of damage. 
How's it going? And then Hacker can help follow up. Can he? He can if he goes and sprints to the other side of that. If I go there, that's six mines that we're triggering. I think I can live with that. Let's go. And we can get direct line of sights. Yeah, everything's firing. Targeting for an alpha strike. Uh, we're not killing, but Target taken a critical hit. Almost down. Orders. And then Popo. Um he can jump actually, can't you? I keep forgetting that. Up high. Please don't fall over. No, you're gonna brace and that's that's it for you. And as well, helping out. Ah, thank you for clearing some of the mines for me. You were amazing, but you just panicked my little tank. That's not good. Okay, so backgrounds to the Vindicator. I'm thinking we. Yep, yeah, that's direct line of sight, so let's go for that. Confirmed. Let's see if we can kill this turret. We can! Awesome. Hostile. Mortars Remote. down. I wonder if we take out that, does the turret take any damage? Duncan Fisher here. Hmm. We're gonna have to test it out, I think. Heading that way. You're not doing anything at the moment. Laser AMS working well. And who go now? Ready for orders. I'm thinking we test out that theory. There's five evasion. I think five evasion is enough. Position. Confirmed. Even though we're getting direct line of sight to the Centurion. Although, okay, so let's see. The Centurion has um, some hit chance. We have an even better hit chance here. Let's go for it. Confirm. Firing. Um, my, it down, I think it put acid. No, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to have done anything to that turret. Striker nearly took some damage. And how bad are your legs now? 50 of 60, yeah, 50 of 60, and I don't know what weapon he's currently firing. That sucks that that was out of the range, but at the same time, never mind. Yep. It was worth testing out, even if it didn't actually come to anything. Yeah, shall we go there? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good hit chance. Understood. On the Centurion, actually, was it the building that I had targeted? Probably was. Nope, that's actually a hit chance. Let's go for it. Fire. Boom, right leg destroyed. AC 20 he yeah. had. Had, gone now. Oh, it was an AC 20 Kaliyama. I'm here. But again, it was destroyed, so, oops. I need direct line of sight now because I'm out of useful mortar stuff. And, I mean, there's a small building. Let's see if we can hit the small building. Well, 30% hit chances. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. We hit something. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, you're not firing. That sucks. Commander. Um, yeah, I need to keep up as much evasion as possible. No, no. There. Three evasion, and then we'll see what we can hit. Confirm. Um, 
think that's the one we hit, just hit. Yeah, I mean, it's only the LRM-10s that are firing. On it. But it's some damage we did. That's our problem at the moment. We're just not able to Ready get close enough Bracing for impact. to do damage now. We've kind of run out of a lot of our ammo. But we will get there. I'm showing minor damage. Considering there is what? Duncan Fisher here. There is turrets and one tank on the field. And that's it. Heading that way. Yeah, just two turrets and one tank on the field. Bear in mind, we have not destroyed the base garrison or the St. Ives support lance yet. So I have no idea what that counts as. But we haven't killed them yet. We might as well try and do some damage here. Lighting them up. Well, we tanked and did a bit of damage. So. Receiving it's you. like grinding through a tremendous amount of armor that we can't actually hit. I mean, that might be worth going for the Let Calliope turrets because they're generally quite nasty. Yeah, and we're going to fire the Inferno rockets just for extra damage. Well, that kind of worked. We've only got 90 what do you need? structure left. Yeah, that's a hit. That's kind of a hit chance. Oh, we're running low on ammo. So, yeah, we only had half a bin, didn't we? So, well, they fired, so... I think we're going to have just enough. And this was a fairly long engagement as well. Standing by. And if I can take out... Well, this guy hasn't moved. That's the insane thing. But at the same time, he... I don't know if he's got any weapon systems, has he? I can't remember him firing. Okay, that's going to be a good chunk of damage. Some damage. Come on, Mr. Ranger. Get the kill. So close. So close. They will be done. Okay, well, you might actually be able to get the kill yourself, Mr. Blackjack, with your lasers. Yeah, there's no point dropping the smoke mines. They don't help us. This just is. Well, damn. Let's do this. We've got one more person. Affirmative. We can't get any closer because of mines. But go for it. Not gone. Oh, that was the building. I didn't want to shoot. Commander. Enemy structure down. I thought that was um. The, tu the turrets. Never mind. Well, he... Did we not just destroy a building? We got this... Okay, we got destroyed. Zero of four dis communications. Right. I'm swearing I just got the notification that I was... Waiting for orders. Uh, ...destroyed a building. Roger that. Digging in. AMS taking up all the Thunderbolts. Okay, so we could have a broken mission here. Receiving you. A very broken mission. Well, I want you to take out a building. Small military building? Go for it. On it. Boom. It's gone. Zero of four. Target destroyed. So either this is a glitch up Another here. Or the mission is broken. Yeah. If the mission is broken, we're... Well, I'm going to cry, basically. I'm going to turn you off because I've only got four missiles left. Okay. I could win simply Target by destroying destroyed. all the enemies. So... Range missiles are out. Let's see if we can do that. Um, you're not going to get to the remaining guy, are you? 
Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Oh. Uh, destroy base garrison two or four. Okay, so it's it's check caught up and reinforcements are already well they're down here somewhere there's a oh yeah no there is actual enemies that's a ripper well let's finish off a building Objective in sight. So yeah, we have... It's going down like a Capellan Geisha. Yeah, we have some enemies that are spawning in behind us. Well, we don't like that. And also... Oh wait, we have a pack rat and a Vulcan. So... F and then we have... A crosscut. Whatever the hell is a crosscut? I have no idea what a crosscut is. Go there and I'm thinking we're gonna be running out of ammo. What if I go that's only one invasion, that's two. Let's have four, that's in the flank. Okay, let's go there. Yeah. It's a hit chance. It's not the greatest hit chance in the world. But let's see what we can do. We got him! The PPC hit, I believe. Yeah, sensors impaired, so the PPC the did crashed. hit. Awesome. Waiting for order. And you just need to take out the last building maybe well, that's going to going to be the LRMs I mean they have spawn protection although actually we did just take one out so maybe they don't have spawn protection Understood. moving fast but what I am going to do is go here and take out or do deal some damage to this building since it's probably the only thing that we can confirm. Oh uh, wait, that's a tremendous amount of damage I just did to the back of my Vindicator. Damage is minor, Commander. Shadowhawk, Vindicator, Vindicator. Yeah. Okay. Oops. I live to serve. Well, I could put smoke down on this guy. Now we're going to reserve the blackjack. That way. Yeah, that tank's going to be annoying, so he's not moving. Commander. And yeah, you're just going to. Confirm. Well, I could Hold jump it. you and get some evasion, but I don't think it's truly necessary. And the little pa ranger is still going. Is he? He is. Helping out still. Oh, no, 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 no. My little tank was too close, but luckily doesn't seem to have taken any damage. They've got no real... Waiting for orders. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have damaged him in any way. Does it? I'm guessing it only counts when... Have they gone for this turn? Yeah, 29, 28, 29. Yeah, so they've ha they have gone Commander. for this turn. Okay. Well then, let's just sprint. Right there. Right front and centre to all of them. So I've got most of my armour left, I believe. Yeah, that's probably the best hit chance I'm going to get. So let's go for it. So they will turn the smoke on. Target confirmed. Since nothing else hits, at least he's got impaired visibility. Duncan Fisher here. Ah, uh, yeah, go like so. Heading that way. 
let's see if we've got a hit chance on uh, the little tank. No, I think that's partly because he's in the f smoke. Well, that's our best hit chance, but that is a garbage hit chance regardless. Lighting them up! Yeah. There you go. We didn't hit much. Yep. Okay, right, you're gonna finish the building, or help finish the building, I would say. Bugging out. If we get the building down, we can always bug out if we need to. Roger. Some damage. Uh, this is our little ranger tank. Who I don't think wants to be part of this. Well, he does, but he doesn't. He's not doing a tremendous amount at the moment. Ready for orders. Okay, we're getting a little bit hot now. I think it's just because we're so far away. That's why we're not really getting a hit chance. I only move. You know what? We're going to let them go. Because I don't think I can hit them at the moment. You're jumping. Close up. There goes the paint job. Yep, yeah, I've got no real hit chance or ammo to win this. Okay, splash damage. That's all you got. I'm ready. Well, I'm thinking we're not going to fire the mortars because I don't want the smoke on him. But we have a good chance, good hit chance. Yeah. Got it, Commander. He's exploded. He's, a, he's only a light mech by the looks of things. So, it's not going to be doing too much damage. Oh, sorry. It's not going to take too much damage to take him down. Standing by. Should I say. Yeah, go like so. It's so not exposing your back to even the guy that isn't moving. And that's a reasonable hit chance. Let's see if we can destroy. Got it. Not quite. Heavy chainsaw destroyed. Scored a critical hit. I would have liked that actually, or I'd like to look at what it might have been, but it got blown up. Standing by. Sadly. Um. Vulcan, twenty percent hit chance, fifty percent hit chance. Tank, very good hit chance. Let's go after the tank. Hitting off. If I can kill the tank, that would be amazing. Now it's only 50%. Hmm. I think I'm still going to go for it. Oh, he's panicked. If nothing else. Receiving you. So, call him Paul. Okay, so it doesn't make any difference to this little tank. Roger. But that's why it doesn't do any damage, because it's not actually exploding so much. Okay, so bolt on mortar five. And there goes all my missiles. And boom, engine destroys. Yes, Commander. I mean, can you you How is this creating heat for you? Um, have you got no, I'm guessing you have no heat sinks left. Yeah, okay, so let's just distract him. Not that this would have actually helped, so this was kind of stupid, but never mind. Let's go Vigilant, so we can... She's too hot. Um... I gotta shut her down. 
Did you just shut down? No, he didn't shut down. Hey, Pretty sure he didn't man. shut down. Oops. That was a, maybe a stupid mistake. Uh, right, we're going to try and finish off the tank. And then go for the Vulcan. We've got a pretty good hit chance, so... Boom! There is two more enemies, I don't, although I don't think I can get to one of the enemies, because it's just not moving down there. But luckily the Vulcan is moving. But this time, only walking, so... We should have a pretty good hit chance on him now. Ready for orders. And I think I'll just stand and shoot. Yep. It was a. I'm out of LR. Hey, well, we did some damage. Who's next? Duncan Fisher here. I think you probably should keep moving. Heading that way. And keep heating. Heating destroys. That's not going to help him. Revenge is Duncan's. And oh, the ally. Okay, Mr. Ranger. I have a feeling some of those hit my own mechs. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah. To wow, oh, yeah, that's bad. To my little tank. What do you need? That's bad. And okay, we're gonna go over that way because I don't want to stray fire my tank and blow it up. Copy that. After it just took a bunch of stray fire. Uh, let's hit them. Copy that. Well, he's unsettled and lost evasion. And standing by. Your heat level is staying the same, isn't it? Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Hey, I'm overheating. That's um a it's new heat. Uh, basically we've just lost all our ability to cool on that mech. On my way. That's rather interesting. Down. And the joust is moving. Look at that. Standing by. Okay, which I think this is the building that we've been firing at. So let's see if we can hit it. I should have. I didn't need to go that close, did I? Ah well. Got it. Okay, so do we have any way Duncan Fisher here of taking out that final tank? We can go that well we can. We can go down there that way. and shoot in that way. But this is rather annoying that he's staying down there. In fact we can just drop some orders. No, we can't really drop anything on him. And I'm not going through my massive minefield. That's a little bit too big a minefield. I can. No, because that's... No, no, no. The smoke would just impair us to try to kill him. Yeah. He may have even run out of ammo. Ooh. 20 mines. Eight mines. That's an eighty percent, eighty-six percent chance to shoot him in the back for stepping on four mines. We'll take it. That's a hit. That's did it hit? I have no idea. Something hit him.
Uh, you can't quite get there just yet. Throttle down. But I believe I have some incendiary LRMs. Roger. I mean, they help out. Receiving you. And Hacker has some LRMs. In fact, if I yes, Commander, just stand still, I only get 15% hit chance. Okay. So shall we sprint? 25% hit chance. Roger that. No shooting. Just running. Maybe if I'd have moved, that'd have been a little bit better. But so be it. Target lock on enemy's rear. Structure exposed. We're getting there. Uh, please don't fire into my rear. No. Receiving you. Okay, so... No shooting, just run. The Go. light PPC might actually be useful here. Target lock on no. rear off. <laughs> Fail to connect. Oh, dear. Waiting for order. Uh, yeah, you're just racing. Holding here. You literally cannot Can't call. You've got no calling capacity. That's bad. 71% chance and we missed. This sucks. I'm your spaniel. Um If I sprint to there, it's only six mines. Okay, the medium lasers are out of range, so you're out of this. Watching my heat gauge slowly go down. Okay, can the Jenna get a line of sight? It can. Well, let's see if this works. We need, but I don't know if we'll do enough damage to kill it. Lining them all up! We do. Scratch another target. That is it. Vehicle down. Mission successful. Nice. Okay, we actually get a decent amount of pay because of all the bonus pay. Despite us having quite a big um, ammo cost and drop cost. Uh, the spider, yep, yeah, more damage. No injury for Popo, which is great. But he has no mech to pilot. So... One piece of the Centurion, um, two pieces of the Hawk Moth, there is a full Hellspawn, 45 ton mech, uh, plus six missile clustering, plus one missile evasion ignore, plus two indirect missile accuracy, and then, okay, maybe we take a Hellspawn, that is a medium mech. Interesting, and then there is two parts of a joust pack rat, three parts of a ten ton ripper, mm. a bolt on AMS, light AA missile rack, no, light AC2, light gauss, there's a lot of light stuff here, light machine guns, clan light machine guns at that. Hmm, 12 tons, no, I don't think that's clan LRM 10. Two and a half tons. It's only doing 40 damage, but it is very light. Uh, clan heavy lasers or medium heavy la heavy lasers. That's not so bad. Medium X poles, mortar six, uh, bloodhound probe, claws. That is physical attack damage. Oh, and punch damage. Maybe we take it. A uh, small cockpit, no, none of that's useful. Artemis 4. We don't have any of that. And do we have anyone running Artemis at the moment? No. Yes. The MRM-10 Apollo ammo is using Artemis ammo. Okay. But, so we've already got one around. Gyro stabilizer, heat bank. Uh, minus 4 heat per turn. Just four standard, not four percent. Mm, right. 
is there's a double heat sink or two double heat sinks primitive cockpits clan sensor sensors recon uh, sensor trackers that's probably worth picking up slick suite is also worth picking up but um, i think we see enough of those that's fine uh kinetic kill thunderbolt 10 ammo it's uh, no indirect fire. Times two modifier to through crits crit chance. Plus 25% to all range brackets. 50% damage dealt to armor. The ammo bin has 50% reduced explosion potential. Six shots. Not too bad. Are the claws going to help us? I mean, they are going to help us a little bit. Gyro Stabilizer will also help us. But I want, I want a new mech. Yeah, let's go for a new mech. We got the 30-ton crosscuts parts. I've not actually seen it. We may never see it again. Uh, Harasser, Hawk Moth parts, Full Hellspawn, Joust parts. Eight light machine guns. That's where all those come from. Pa um, pack rat, ripper, scimitar part. We got the light gauss. I might keep it around for the moment. Uh, clan light machine guns times two. Mm. No, I'll sell those. Medium X pulse, SRM six. I'll keep it. Angel, BCM, Bloodhound probe. Have we got some of those. No claws. One hundred and five engine. We'll just sell that. Improved fire control system. Well, it's better than nothing. And fire control system standard clan. What's the difference? That one gives us night vision, doesn't it? This one doesn't. But they both give us plus one gunnery. Uh, jump jets we'll get rid of. And ammo. Tandem SRM ammo. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah. I think we're going to put together a new mech in the next video. And it's going to replace the spider. Because the spider is just falling apart too often so um with that i hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to hit that like button and if you want to see more videos then remember to hit the subscribe button but until next time have fun and enjoy the rest of your day